The Bob Mills Weather Center, the Oklahoma weather expert, David Payne. Wow. Yeah. Good story. We, we, and we took apart that, that canister that Angelisi had and inside. You have everything you need to plant. You actually plant it in that canister. The oh, sorry then, about that. And then, it, the right and then when it grows, yeah. it, it becomes like, you know, sapling. That's when you can plant it in the ground. And you can get and these at the yeah. museum there downtown or they even have them online as with, well. With instructions. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like step, step we were by reading step. through them. Yeah, need. It, that, very helpful. So cool. It actually Seriously, seems yeah. like a great project for kids too, because they would really wonderful. enjoy yeah. watching it grow. Yeah, Such it, an amazing piece yeah. of symbolism too. And the reason it survived so long here, it's a native to Oklahoma. Okay. That does so, help for yeah. sure, yeah, especially can, you know after some of our winters we've had. Right? Yeah. And high wind events. I mean, we've had winds, you know, since 1995, well over 100 miles per hour downtown. We've we've had all yeah. that. The ice storms over and over. The snowstorms and pretty incredible it's still that it's still there. standing. Yeah, yeah. lose a branch, but yeah, it's still pretty amazing. So, yeah. Anyway. So we got uh, some rain out there now. Yeah. You know, still raining. It's all good on a Friday night. There's your October. So look at that map. I mean, you're talking about up, down, up, down, up, down. I mean, it's just been, it's, you know, 70s, 60s. I mean, 50s. It's just you know, there's there's been you average it out. Yeah. Or just, uh, you know, a little bit above average, but overall, look at the big swings we've had, including today, only in the mid-50s today. So it's been a month of extremes, ups and downs, ups and downs, and now over two inches of rain, still below average. We picked up most of that this week. All right, so we're still uh, over an inch below average. We average about 3.32 for the entire month. All right, so uh, there you go. We're looking at a quarter of an inch in Oklahoma City so far. That includes what we received last night overnight and this morning. The morning drive was wet early on, and then it's still raining out there right now. Look at Fort Cobb, 1.38. Only 13 hundredths in Shawnee, northeastern Oklahoma. Just barely a drop up here. I've had a little bit this evening. Enid picked up a quarter of an inch. Nothing in the northwest in the panhandle. Southwestern Oklahoma, southern Oklahoma, anywhere from one to two inches of rain. The upper storm is over Dallas right now. We're on the north side, so we're getting counterclockwise flow in the atmosphere. The rain coming in from the east and then rotating around the upper low, which is centered again pretty close to Dallas. This is going to pull north and east tonight slowly, so the rain well, gradually, this band here will kind of disappear overnight. We'll end up with rain to our east and northeast overnight. But right now, hey, Yale, Cushing, Kearney, Guthrie, Edmond, all of Oklahoma City is covered up with light rain. Back to Union City, Hinton, Carnegie. So it's light, no severe weather. There won't be any severe weather tonight. Looks quiet, except the nice rain will continue to fall. This is going to go on another couple of hours uh, here in Oklahoma City. Southwestern Oklahoma you're beginning to dry out your rain coming to an end. Just a great shot of downtown looking good on a Friday evening, 54 degrees, part of our Pike Pass Sky Cam Network. That's our Regency Cam looking at downtown. Northeast wind at seven. Our humidity right now at 77%. All right, temperatures, we have low to mid 50s, 55 in Guthrie, 53 in Norman, 51 in Minko. It is cool out there, but not much wind. And again, statewide, pretty much everybody in the 50s, 40s in the Panhandle. All right, so here's this storm. It's a low on the move, slowly, not very fast, but uh, it'll crawl in eastern Oklahoma, southeast Oklahoma tonight, hang around tomorrow. It'll keep Oklahoma City cloudy in the morning. The plan is for Oklahoma City and points west and north to see a little sunshine as we get into the afternoon. Your better day for sunshine will be Sunday. But there goes that storm. Here comes the next one. Now, this is interesting. The jet stream cranks up next week. The wind cranks up. We see highs in the 70s. Some of the data bring this out Thursday night into Friday morning with a wall of rain and a wall of storms and some severe weather. That's the way it looks right now. Other data says, hang on, it's slower. It doesn't come out until Saturday night into Sunday. So the timing is anywhere between Thursday night and Saturday night. I'm leaning a little more towards Friday, late Friday into Saturday. But if it speeds up at all, these things have a tendency to somewhat slow down. And this one is not cutting off, but it's trying to slow down. So either way, chance of rain, chance of storms look good with severe weather setting up for the end of next week. All right, hail, wind, and maybe what we call those QLCS tornadoes, possibly along those lines. We'll have to track it still again uh, well, about a week away. All right, lows tonight, 40s and 50s. Overnight tonight, rain will really shift into eastern and southeastern Oklahoma. 
And then for tomorrow morning, light rain in the east, dry in Oklahoma City. We're going to be cloudy in the morning. Highs tomorrow in the upper 50s in Oklahoma City, 60s across the north, 90 forecast. Your weekend looks pretty good. Sunday looks great. Monday looks great. There's your Halloween a high of 71. Tuesday, 72. Storms in here. Late Thursday, possibly. Better chance Friday, Saturday, some severe weather, heavy rain. And then after that, by the following Sunday, we'll cool it off and dry it out. Here we go, guys, back to you. All right, and you have the chance to meet David and our whole team of weather experts and storm trackers tomorrow. Jim Gardner, Bob Mills, Sky News 9, also will be at the National Weather Festival in Norman. It's from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the National Weather Center. Always so much fun down there. Go, go say hi to them. We do want to 